The reason that I continue to keep making CIDP videos is because I'm so recovered. Because I've noticed that everyone on all the Facebook pages who has CIDP or Guillain-Barre syndrome, everyone who's on the different forums, I think it's uh, CIDP-GBS.org or something like that. I'll, I'll leave the, uh, the link right over here so you guys can go check that out if you are into that sort of thing. And uh, I've, I've noticed that all the people on like all these forums and Facebook groups are all people who have CIDP and they're all wondering, like, or Guillain-Barre syndrome, they're just wondering, is there anyone out there who's really well recovered? Is there anyone out there who has recovered, can do this again? Is there anyone who can run? Is there anyone who can lift? And is there anyone who can play tennis, soccer, football, whatever? People all want to know these things because there are like no videos out there, no people out there saying how well they've recovered. But uh, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be that person so that then if people say, hey, can I do this again? I say, yep, I'm doing that right now. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm biking to, gy to the gym and then I'm working out and I'm biking back and then I'm biking to work, standing on my feet for five hours a day, biking back, and then I'll go play frisbee with my friends later. Like, that's a pretty active life. And, you know, I'm being more active than most people who are completely able-bodied, who have never have any sort of uh, neurological degenerative autoimmune disease. Um, so basically, I'm trying to get the word out there that there are people who are recovered because, like I said, most of the people on those sort of pages, whether it's Facebook or different forums and things like that, they're all people who are not that well recovered. They're just they're people who are currently experiencing the side effects. So I feel like it's almost my responsibility now that I am recovered to stay in touch with the CIDP world because most people who get over all, all their symptoms, people who recover really well, they're like, eh, I don't really need to pay attention, I don't really need to go to those Facebook pages anymore, I don't need to go to this forum anymore, because they don't have any more questions, because they don't have any questions about recovery, they are recovered, so I'm trying to just get the word out there to let other people know that there are people who are really well recovered, and you're looking at one right now, um, I mean, I'll, I'll try to, you know, this is what my quads look like, not... I'm still working on them. Um, I just leg pressed uh, 200 pounds yesterday. I did. Um, I did a set of 16. It was, I did like all my reps. It was like 16. Um, I did one uh, set at 160 pounds, and then I waited about a minute, and then I did another one at 160 pounds, and that was all um, with 16 reps each. And then my, for my final set, I did a drop set, and I started with eight reps of 200 pounds. And then I couldn't do that anymore, so then I just took the pin out of the weight stack and put it into 180. And they had eight more reps of that. I couldn't do it, and I put it into the next uh, one, which was 160. And I did uh, 16 more reps like that. So that, that's pretty that's pretty strong for my quads uh, for someone who two years ago was in a wheelchair. So I'm trying to let those other people who are still in wheelchairs, letting them know that I am recovered. Come subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos of me biking. Like I, I did a video recently where I biked. Uh, 12 miles out to get some sunglasses and 12 miles back. Um, hopefully soon I'll get a video of me lifting. Um, I, I really want to get some videos of me running and things like that. I already have a couple videos up like that, but I just, I, I want to keep making more videos to just like show people, to give more people who have CIDP and Guillain-Barre syndrome more hope. And one thing I would really love to see is other people who have CIDP and Guillain-Barre syndrome, I would love to see them just pumping out more videos. Like I know uh, SS the Leprechaun, he has some really great things to say, but I'd love to see you make some more videos there, Sean. You're a hilarious guy too. I'd, I'd, I think you could really bring a lot of comic relief to a lot of things that people have questions about, about CIDP and stuff like that. Um, I saw, there's um, Aus Autumn Keener, I think. She has like some videos about uh, smoking weed and um, CIDP, which, you know, I guess for some people it can help uh, alleviate the pain, uh, just sort of similar to like MS. You know, there's, there's a bunch of different uh, things that, you know, people can find their own little niche. Like me and Autumn, like we're pretty young people. Uh, so, you know, we could, um, our uh, demographic, I guess you could say, is younger people. Um, you know, if you're an older person with CIDP, like, you know, I'm sure older people would like to see other older people who have uh, CADP. If you know, just just pump out the videos if you have CADP, and if you have CADP and you want to see more uh, videos of people being really recovered, subscribe to my channel because I I'm not going anywhere and I'm making tons of videos. So stay tuned for that.